then welcome to a new GTK stack tutorial. Now it is time to move on and it is time to apply new things for our uh, GTK stack uh, widget and for this uh, to make things much more interesting we are going to call the GTK signal uh, connect and this time we are going to call it on button one which in this case is, is the phone and let us see what changes do we provide so for this I make a copy of G signal connect by hitting ctrl D you already know on the uh, code blocks and I'm going to change button with button one. This is very important because we need to call it on button one. And of course, because we we call it on button one, we need to create a new callback. And I'm going to call it uh, click it callbacks uh, two, whatever, or one. Okay, because we have callback and callback one, uh, whatever. Now let us uh, define this function. For this, I'm going to make also a copy right here. And I'm going to change it to callback one, which is very important. And because we have it, let us define it. And the information which uh, we are going to put inside this uh, callback, it will be very interesting as well for you guys. And it will be look also nice. That being said, uh, let me go a little bit to check. Yes, uh, this is the click at callback. I move it down here. Okay. Now watch the first thing first, we need, of course, I'm going to copy the two calls of G return and fail because we, we need to be sure that the button is a button and the stack is a stack. Now that we have it, we are going to say stack, a uh, stack, sorry, <laughs> static. Uh, this time we are going to use indeed a G boolean flag because we are going to do it a little bit different. So, and we're going to set it to false and now watch we're going to say if flag is equal to false which is true isn't it because we just uh, de uh, declare it right here uh, this is important for us to be false we are going to, s to call a new function and the new function which I'm going to call it for you I need to go back a little bit because uh, I had to make some changes so gtk stack let me open GTK stack right here. The new function which I want to introduce you, it is called GTK stack set visible child. And uh, it is uh, right here, but not that one, this one. GTK stack set visible child full. And this function is a function which returns nothing, void, takes three parameters. The first one is the stack, the second one is the name, and of course the last one is the transition type. We already know the transition type, that was the reason why I introduced you this function uh, uh, first when we called this transition type function to make you understand exactly what this one does and now because we know what this function does and we already know what kind of uh, transition types uh, available we have, basically now we can work with this function because we understand uh, it better now. Why? Well, because we set the visible child of the stack with a name which we got it. Uh, we set it uh, through add name and of course the transition. How it works? Let me show you. GTK stack set visible child full. The first one it is the stack. The second one it is the name which we want to use. In this case we are going to use of course the computer. You will see in a second why. And of course the transition, GTK stack transition type. And I'm going to use this time up, not down up, uh, just up, this one. Uh, no, slide up, sorry, my bad. Transition slide up. Uh, where, is, where is, over, not over, slide, slide up, right here. Now because we have it, we can now safely uh, set the flag to true. So flag, we are set it to true so that we can drop to the else statement. But before we do that, let us also print something. So we are going to say gprint and we are going to say uh, switching, switch, switching 
to computer whatever and now else and I'm going to copy all these things right here because it will be uh, a second call of the same function so here I'm going to say false because we need to set it back to false and we are going to call this time not on the computer but on the phone itself and of course we are going to say phone now what did we did here we said calling the click at callback function when the signal click it was catch on the button one by passing its stack object as well we are setting the visible child fall which means the computer uh, child will will be set visible with the slide up uh, transition and uh, if it is set then it will be uh, uh, switched or swept or revealed the phone child and this one of course here we need to put now down because uh, we need to to swap it from from one to other one in different uh, ways or directions now let me compile it around and see what happens now if i click here you already know they are switching and now if i hit the phone you see it says switch into computer and it is it got switched isn't it now if i click again uh sorry uh, if i click again it's not working something is not working let me let me check again so now now we are on the phone let me put it uh, on the right side and because i need to check what exactly i did wrong here um if i click the phone it says switch to phone and we have the phone if i click it says switch to computer and it doesn't go from computer back to phone which it should work let me check i said if the flag is false then we set the computer if else and, and then we set it to true and if we get the set visible child full to phone we are setting to false and we are switching back to phone which is quite not what we need i mean it doesn't work let me let me click it again you see it's not working it's not switching from computer back to phone and this happens i think i know why because uh, of course it doesn't happen because we have we didn't set something to the computer sorry my bad yes of course that's that's uh, a bad decision which was taken oh, let let me show you why my bad sorry guys you know why you know why it's not happening because the g signal connect i was calling it on the button one which is the phone and works fine but we didn't call it on the computer that's the whole the main reason let let me show you that i'm right i'm going to call it also on button five you see now i'm calling the same callback function on the button one and button five that was all what i need watch now it should work fine now everything works fine i see we can uh, change our uh, widgets and once that i click the phone goes to computer which is true and now because we are here and we have the clicker signal uh, uh, set on the computer button if, if i click it goes back you see and that works fine yes so that was my mistake sorry guys uh, i did create the callback right which means uh, we checked for button and the stack and then we set the flag to false and then checking the flag to false we said that it should belong to the computer and we set it basically the visible chat full on the computer with the transition uh, type slider up and because we set it then to true that by the next call it will be set to true it will fall right here and it will be revealed the phone one and that's the reason why it didn't work because 
me I was calling uh, G signal connect only on the bottom one and I didn't call it on the bottom five five so how should they know one about the other one isn't it they don't know so that means we need to call the G signal connect with the same callback on both objects in this case on both buttons button one and button five okay so that being said thank you guys for watching if you like it please subscribe share with your friends and neighbors and until next time see you guys